Hi guys, right today we're just going to do a quick guide on creating yourself an email account on your cloud hosting. So the first thing you need to do is log into your dashboard. Um, once you're in there, you're just going to want to select to manage your website. Uh, when you've done that, you'll be shown all of the management tools that you've got available to you. Uh, you're going to need to look for the email accounts icon, uh, which is in the basic management tools at the top. Uh, once you've found that, give it a click. Uh, from here you'll see all existing email accounts that you've got um, if you're new obviously you'll have none so you'll see a little icon that says create mailbox you just want to select that one uh, from here it gives you the option to create your mailbox so you can put in the name that you'd like so the desired email so I'm just going to do test in this example um, and then from there you just want to give yourself a password as well uh, when you've done that there's a green option that says create a mailbox so you need to select that one uh, when you've done that, you'll see a message that just says your mailbox has been added and you just want to wait 60 seconds before you try and access it. Um, when you've done that, the best thing to do if you're going to set it up on your phone is to click the client configuration icon, which is in a blue tab at the top of the page. Um, that there will show you all the settings that you're going to need to set it up on your phone or your tablet. And also, if you scroll down a little bit more, you'll see an option to log into webmail, which is like the online version of your email account. Right then, so now that we've got the email account set up on our cloud dashboard, we're going to have a go at setting it up on our iPad. So what we first want to do, uh, we want to open up the settings page on the iPad and select the mail, contacts and calendar section. Um, you'll notice there you're listed with a few options and you want to click add a mail account at the top. It gives you an option to fill in some details, put in your name, your email address, uh, the password you gave the box and also a description, uh, how you'd like it to be called. Uh, from there you get an option to create either an IMAP or a POP3 account. Uh, we always recommend IMAP. Uh, from there you're going to have a settings page again you just need to fill up all of the details that it lists so you're going to go for I think your name should already be in there along with your email and the description of the mailbox but you're also given the option for the incoming mail server and also your outgoing mail server those are the settings that you can find in the client configuration page uh, so just double check that one and pop them in you'll see in the example we've got here uh, we've got the username test which is the email we created and I've just put the password in uh, from there you'll then get an option to kind of save it you want to do that and at the top you'll notice it says verifying uh, sometimes that can take a few seconds to go through um, but when it does you'll be taken back to a page that just says IMAP and then mail and notes uh, when you see that just click save uh, when you've done that it will take you just back to the initial page for the mail contacts and calendars uh, from here what we need to do um, is check out our port settings for the incoming and outgoing server and also just to make sure that we've got the right authentication method in place uh, so again you just go on and click account at the top uh, it should naturally now have your email address in there so in this example you can see test at tsotraining.co.uk uh, from there what you'll then need to do um, you'll see there's an option for the outgoing mail server advanced what we're going to do first is check the outgoing mail server where it says SMTP just give that a click uh, when you've got that one up uh, you'll see at the very top it says primary name server um, in this example there's a few other ones but we're just going to concentrate on the primary server at the top select that one uh, when you then select that the next page will basically take you to a setting you see there's a server on off tab we want this email to work so you want to make sure that's on it should be there by default and you'll see at the bottom just under the outgoing mail server it gives you your host name which is the server name your username and your password and the bits we need to worry about here are just to make sure that the use ssl is on that the authentication method sets a password and also that we've got the right port i think by default port 25 is listed but we that's not quite the right port for us we want to change that to 465 so you can select that um, and just change it over to 465 um, when you've done that there'll be an option to save it click that um, unfortunately it can take a little while just for that to sync up I'm not sure if that's an iPad thing or whatever but we'll just keep going with that and we'll have to wait a few seconds when you've then done that you can click done and it'll take you back to the previous screen just click account again on the top left and then you just want to click the advanced option now at the very bottom which is going to be to check our incoming settings so again we just want to make sure that the SSL is on authentication set to password and also that we've got the right server port in this case the port was correct already um, another quick tip is where it's got the IMAP path prefix that's generally blank it's always a good idea just to put inbox in there uh, when you've done that 
you'll be able to save it. The next thing you want to check is the advanced mailbox settings. Now because we've set this up as an IMAP account, uh, we want everything to sync with the server. So you'll notice that there's an option there at the very top where it says mailbox behaviours. We just want to make sure it's selected to sync with the server rather than on the iPad or iPhone, depending on what you're setting this up on. Uh, so just to quickly go through that, you get the option for drafts. I believe there's also an option for sent. And also, I believe, you get the option for trash and also the mailbox archive. Um, again, we just generally put that one to trash. Uh, when you've done that, click advanced on the top left. That will take you back to the initial screen where it got account in the top left. Just click that one and then click done. When you've done that, uh, that's pretty much all your settings saved. It will then be time to kind of have a little test. A common issue that some people do come across is the message you can see in front of you now, which is where your iPad or your iPhone tells you that you cannot get any mail. Um, you'll notice it says the username or password um, is incorrect. Uh, generally, this means that either the username, so the email address you popped in, or the password you popped in um, aren't quite right. So it's always worth just double checking this um, if you come across this message. Obviously, if you double check this and you're absolutely sure that those are correct, um, get in contact with us, but nine times out of ten, um, this is actually the case and you just need to change some of those details.